Hello this afternoon. It's a pretty day in September and we're in Springfield, Massachusetts and we're going to, we are in the Forest Park and we have lots of stops inside here. Right now we're going to go on to the gazebo and look at the aquatic gardens and then go off to the amphitheater, walk the steps up and down and go off to a little Japanese bridge and a map on the other side. We're very close to the Barney Mausoleum and the Barney Carriage House there's a lot to do in this area. It's the most popular area of all. All right. Is there anything you want to know about the amphitheater? When was um, it started? Okay, it started a long time ago. Um, they wanted a great view. They have music available. So make sure you, we might have an adventure. So keep your eyes open for good things that we can see. Okay, so our first stop is in the gazebo and you can see very many aquatic gardens. The water is very high, but there's dead lily pads on top of them, so it looks like they're drained, but they're not. You can, in this one, you can see the water. And there's a path in the distance, you can take that path to a covered bridge, you can take it to the duck pond. On the other side is the brook. This whole area is called uh, Pakosik. Baka, after Barney's family is named for it in her house. And then in, in this distance, you can see the amphitheater. We're going to walk up that. All right, and in this direction here, you, see, you would see the mausoleum and the carriage house. And there's a water bird picking out a fish about 20 feet from us. And in the distance is the amphitheater. It's terraced so that people can stay on one of the terraces and catch the music. And it has a nice gra uh, grade to it, so you can walk up the steps peacefully. And the musicians themselves work down on this green here and on the patio. Now it looks very steep from here, but it's still walkable because of these nice steps. Uh, imagine the musicians down here playing. You can get on any grade of these terraces that you want, as high up as you want, or as low as you want. Nice way to listen to outdoor music in the summer and fall. Okay, and it has benches on the very edge for you. Okay, and people love to be up there too. And the roadway is up there. And great view down to the aquatic gardens. And a great view all the way back up to the terraces. Yeah.
Okay, I'm going to head back now. We went about two thirds of the way up for you. And it's a nice view coming down these. That's probably the best part of all. It's a little easier. This reeling helps greatly. And you catch a great view of those wonderful aquatic gardens. There's many of them. You catch the video stop I just have for those. down here where are the musicians would be here but today it's just a beautiful greenery scene you can see the gazebo on the side of one of the aquatic gardens and there's benches galore around here greenery galore there's a japanese bridge over there we hope we can make it up to there and catch my many stops for forest park there's so much to see around here including lots of nature trails and dams. Okay, we can walk between the aquatic gardens. These ponds used to be kind of one all together 100 years ago, and then they manicured them to be different places. And they put this bridge along it to control the water somewhat. I just saw a frog jump and off the lily pad. And again, over in the distance, you see a Japanese bridge crossing the Porter Stream. What a beautiful sight that is. Okay, and then back looking the other way, you can see the gazebo. And you can see a great look at that, that beautiful amphitheater that we just climbed. And this one, oh, this aquatic garden almost has a causeway going straight through it. Okay, and with that, We'll leave you and thank you for coming along.